Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I am so grateful to be here and so happy to be here. A man came upon a construction site where the people were working. He asked the first, what are you doing? And the man replied, I am laying bricks. He asked the second, what are you doing? And the man replied, I'm building a wall. As he approached the third, he heard him humming a tune as he worked and asked, what are you doing? The man stood up and smiled and replied with a gleam in his eye, I am building a cathedral. Putting a dent in the universe for me began a very long time ago. It wasn't always for my direct plans, but also implementing and executing the precise plans of others. They were the big picture, and I dealt with the details. And that was my happy place. I loved being in the background, carefully and vigilantly connecting the walls of my life and that of my family. In this quiet role, I've been engaged and working with purpose for a very long time with each and every brick a necessary part of building something significant. A rock solid foundation has always been my goal. My loyalty to the project, endless. It's completion, monumental. It doesn't matter if you're the bricklayer or the architect. What matters is finding what makes you happy what makes you feel good, and whatever you are doing, that you do it 100%. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. posed a simple question to a group of junior high school students. What is your life's blueprint? He said, if it falls your lot to be a street sweeper, sweep streets like Michelangelo painted paintings. <clears throat> sweep streets like Beethoven composed music. No work is insignificant, all labor that uplifts humanity, has dignity and importance, and should be undertaken with painstaking excellence. There are the distractions, the unexpected, that aren't a part of our life's blueprints. Throw a tragedy or an illness like celiac into our life's master plan, and now we're paying attention to our fragility. We don't feel so rock solid all of a sudden, which can momentarily consume us. So. You dig deep. You get introspective. You say yes. When I first met Steve Broback, he was standing in my kitchen. <laughs> he asked me about Gluten Free Sage, my website, and said, why don't you come to Dent? Last year, I attended my first Dent. Dent, and along with the growing website and two sweet books, a positive shift came my way. It was magical. I was strong, rock solid and into some serious asset-based thinking. Focusing on strengths and opportunities was the next foundational step I needed to complete my successful and resilient construction around celiac and the peaceful calm I love. What gets you guys up in the morning? What fuels you? For me, it's desire, it's inspiration. Those are the sparks that ignite everything. An often overlooked and incredibly important aspect of finding what pushes your buttons is the need to be well. We can't schedule inspiration or force it into existence, so we have to create a favorable environment to receive it. When you nourish your body, you feed your soul, and being strong and healthy will open your world to desire and inspiration, both which transform the way we perceive our own capabilities. Celiac disease is a quiet illness and one I've learned that not everyone takes seriously. Going gluten-free can become a mainstream diet choice. However, untreated celiac can be life-threatening. There are no drugs to treat celiac, and there is no cure. What I love about asset-based thinking is that it's driven by desire, not deficits or fear. Celiac may not have been in my original master blueprint. However, the diagnosis that once made me afraid to eat has led me to discover a love for food and life. I founded Gluten-Free Sage as a platform for healthy living through artful experiences and a voice for whose bodies and spirits needed healing. The beauty of art, whether it be poetry, painting, music, or mathematics, lies in the process. 
we enrich our lives by opening up the power of our imagination to discover our own insights and resilience through creative problem solving and self-awareness. And that's why we build the foundation with passion and purpose so there's solid strength to handle the imperfections in our life's blueprints. Challenging times can fortify our faith, strengthen our character, and deepen our resolve. I'd like to end with a poem from my Poetry in Motion series, which is the one I wrote that started it all, the websites, the books, and everything. I really broke my hand and ankle. My heart sank hell. I thought I was invincible. My body isn't bendable. I'm dependable on it. It's not expendable, but I'm mendable. Bones supposed to be straight to hold our weight. But ask them to flex and it's not what they expect. Suffering the effects with respect of what was thought to be free and easy. Turned into pain, believe me. Now I'm battered and thankful, not shattered. I know what matters. My heart goes pitter patters for my friends and their love chatter. You got me, can't you see? Never ending is my love for thee. Never ending is my love for thee. Never ending is my love for thee.